god. I'm putting him. Hey guys, so I'm back with another video today. And today is going to be the first part of my Lush project. These are the items that I bought like when I first stepped into Lush store and a few times after. So this is going to be the very beginning of this project. And then if you tell me what you guys want, we can start the project. So let's get started with this video. Okay, so can I say the first thing that I bought when I went into Lush store was a tea tree tab which I bought in February and I've only just used in September. I've never used until actually September. I've actually never used a face mask or anything to do with my face. So using a steam tab was a bit different for me. I only did it once. I don't know. I don't know what steam tabs exactly are supposed to do. I don't know if it's going to make a difference. But as I've used it, I can't show you. But I'm going to show you what I bought with it, and that is. A unicorn horn bubble bar and I found that after that you can only get it at Valentine's so that's pretty good even though I still have it I bought it in February it's now October and I still have it so that's good this is the unicorn horn that I still haven't used I'm scared it's gonna crumble with my hands because I've had it for so many months but yeah I guess when I use it because this is a horn it was easier for me to break off and put in a bath Whereas if it was silk or something. Next time I went to Lush, I saw this and I had to get it. It's a spaceship. Okay, this one I need to hope you use because it's going everywhere. It's got glitter on it. So this is what it looks like. bathroom I got recently so I went into the Oxford Lush store for the very first time in London and oh my god I was in there for two minutes I went in there to just get samples of toothy tabs and I ended up getting my hair treatment and washed and they put so many products in like the honey wax and all that and my hair smelled so nice and soft but she, the woman asked me what is on my wish list because I'm doing this project I've got everything on my wish list and I named Frozen because it's the only bathroom I could think of at the time and she actually ended up giving it to me for free with the little card saying I think this is for you I forgot this smells fresh like if you used to have a bath in the morning you'd feel all refreshed and clean so it's not really a scent to it it would just make you feel like waking up so this is what the frozen bath bomb looks like
next item I've got is a bubble bar which I've got with the frozen but I bought this but I've got that one for free this is probably the most freshest fresh of smells you can smell if you want to smell fresh then this is great this is a bubble bar it's the milk one oh my god I can't wait to try this because I have a problem with bubbles I use normal um, body wash and I pour in a tap and the bubbles last for what like five minutes and then they're gone so I can't wait to try this because hopefully I will have loads of bubbles that will last the whole time I'm in the bath it's got silver little cap and a bun and yeah it just looks like this in the Oxford's um, Lush Dot like four samples of face masks but I've used two of them already and that is the Brazened Honey which is pretty good because it makes your face it does really make your face look brighter and I also got Cupcake which I'd probably advise anyone to have because it's a face mask I think it's the only one that really removes dirt and makes your face good whereas Braised honey is good if you want to brighten your face up. To be honest with you, I don't think that's a must have face mask. You can go on your life without having braised honey, but it does make your skin super soft and smooth after applying it. So yes, that is pretty much all for what I have for you today. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, but until then, I'll see you guys later.